Okay everyone, so welcome again to another one of our videos here. And right now, I'm actually learning how to do reverse engineering. And that's the same reason why I want to go and record it and teach it at the, at the same time, guys. Because again, the best way to, to learn is something that I tell my students is teach to learn and learn to teach. And uh, I do get to be more uh, familiar with the topic once I go and try to teach it and share it to another person. And that's why I'm doing this right now. So right now, uh, here's the tool that I'm talking about. This is a free open source software that was developed by the National Security Agency. That is a framework for, re for reverse engineering, guys. It's used for disassembling code that has been compiled in binary format. And if we go to the site here, you would see that this, uh, this tool, guys, it is for free and it was developed by the NSA Research Directorate in support for the cybersecurity prof uh, professionals. And we can go check out the installation guide here. And let's see here. It says here we have minimum requirements and installation notes. It says here that we will need to have Java installed together with Ghidra. So let's go through the installation notes, guys. And it says here that it doesn't use a traditional installer program. And Ghidra, the Ghidra distribution file is simply extracted in place on the file system. And this approach has advantages and disadvantages. On the upside, administrative privilege is not required to install Ghidra for personal use. Also, because installing Ghidra does not update any OS configuration, such as the registry on Windows, removing Ghidra is simple as deleting the Ghidra installation directory. Downside, Ghidra will not automatically create a shortcut on the desktop or appear in the application start menus. That's not a problem. Uh, privilege uh, requirement will be for extracting Ghidra to certain file system destinations, such as C, if you're installing it in Windows. And Ghidra relies on using directories outside of its installation directory to manage both temporary and longer living cache files. And it will be attempting to use standard OS directories that are designed for these purposes in order to avoid several issues, such as storing large amounts of data to a roaming profile. If it is suspected that the default location of these directories is causing a problem, they can be changed by modifying the relevant properties in the support launch.properties file. And it will require supported version of Java Runtime Development Kit on the path to run. However, if there is a version of Java on the path that Kit does not support, we will use that version of Java. If 1.7 or later, to assist in locating a support version on your system, if one cannot be automatically located, the user will be prompted to enter a path to the Java home directory to use. And the Java home directory is the parent directory of Java's bin directory. This minimizes the impact Ghidra has on pre-existing configurations of Java that other software may rely on. So let's go and try this out, guys. First, let's go and try to download Ghidra. Let's go to installation node, supported version, adapt open JDK here. And we have here some of the versions, open JDK 11. And we can go and try to download uh, using Linux. I'm using an x64 file here. So let's go and try to download this. Save the file. Let's see. Okay, guys, so the download's already done. I'm just going to go and check some here. Let me just copy this. Uh, and let's go to, I actually placed it, I transferred already to a directory named Ghidra on my desktop. And let me just open here a text editor. And let's go check if, let's uh, change directory to um, home, desktop, cd to Ghidra LS. We have we now have here the JDK 11 or Java Development Kit. I haven't downloaded uh, Ghidra yet, guys. So right now, let's go and first check the SHA 256 sum. 
of this file and just to verify that it's the actual uh, that the download that we've done is verified and it's it's not been altered of some sort so we do have here that it does have the same line of codes here it's a good practice that you always check uh, if you download files from the internet you check their uh, some here and uh, check some so I think we're good with the Java development kit now we can now go and try to download uh, Ghidra from github here let's see here and here's the latest version uh, on the time of my recording today is July 16 so let's go and also get this shadow 56 and put that in our text editor this is for the Java development kit development kit and uh, this will be for Ghidra so let's save this let me go save this here in Ghidra and I'm going to name this checksum.txt just so that we will be able to check if uh, what we downloaded is, uh, is not altered so let's go and download this now save this and I'm going to pause this until it's done downloading guys because my internet's uh, very slow guys as you can see here okay guys so we can see here that it's already done the download is already done and we have the files here in the desktop I've already transferred it from my downloads folder to the desktop folder uh, from where I have the directory of Ghidra and we can already extract it here using the graphical user interface that we have here in our uh, Kali Linux but instead of that I'm going to go and try to run this and do the process of extracting using the terminal okay and of course we would want to go and make sure that the checksum is is proper and that this file was not altered of, uh, or any sort or there was no alteration done with the file so we'll be using the SHA-256 here so let's go and SHA-256 sum similar with what we did uh, with the first one that we did here and let's check and here's the SHA-256 of the file and let's just copy that here and it does compare there's no alteration done so the integrity of the file is good so let's go and clear this now what I want to do is to unzip Ghidra or that uh, zip file let's see here it's unzipping while that's working let's go and uh, split horizontally so that we'll have okay so it's already done let's just ls here first let's see so we have the Ghidra directory here if we do lsla let me just increase the screen here guys we can see that we have the Ghidra directory there's the directory here we have the directory and now that that's there we would want to extract this file also the tar.gz here and we can actually try to do that by using tar and we can use some flags here x let me just x that will be instructing tar to extract the files from the zip files 
we have v which means verbose or to list out the files that it will be extracting and z will be instructing tar to decompress the files without uh, without uh, let's say we won't be seeing any folders that are compressed so this is the instruction that we will be using to decompress the folders inside of this jdk tar.gz file okay and the f will be telling the tar the file name you want to work on so let's go and try to uh, f here and let's go and try to uh, work so again x will be for instructing tar to extract the files v verbose z for decompress decompressing and the f will be for telling the file name specifying this file name that we would want to work with so let's go and try this now guys and let's wait for it, to, it to, for it to finish and let's ls dash la and we now have the jdk here and the gidra folder let's try to go to the gidra folder here public <coughs> and ls dash uh, uh, ls here and we have the gidra run so we just need to go and specify this just means the current directory and we would want to run this this file here and if we go to our folder here you would see that we have the gidra run file here it's a uh, we can try to open it with nano if you want to explore guys we can actually go and do that let's, where, where are we uh, let's just see here so let's say um okay and gidra run it's uh, i believe it's already executable let's see here ls dash la and it does have executable uh, format here so let's go and clear this and run that gidra run and it's saying here enter for a dialog so let's go and open a selection dialog here and let's go look for that jdk folder and open that Let's see what will happen. And there we go, guys. We now have our Gidra running. Let's just check. And we can now go and try to use this for reverse engineering. So I'll go and make some more videos with regards to how to use this as I go and try to learn also how to use this tool for reverse engineering. So there we go guys we now have our tool here that we can go and try to explore and learn some more especially for reverse engineering especially if you're you're uh, interested in joining capture the flag activities this will be very very useful and the good thing about this it's for free it was released by nsa for free and unlike some of the other tools out there like ida pro for example is, uh, is a bit expensive and if you're just beginning and you you want to learn uh, how to do RE, at least now you have a tool that you can start with, okay? So thank you and see you on our next videos.